Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a monster with sugar paste. This is just a cute little figurine which will show some key tips and tricks which you can use in other sugar craft projects. So grab a cup of tea or coffee, take a few minutes out of your time and I hope you enjoy watching this video. Today we will be using the tools as pictured. You will need a pair of purpose-used nail scissors, only for sugar craft, and florist tape. Break off a small piece of coloured sugar paste to start. This will be for the feet of your monster. Roll a smooth ball and cut it in half. This will give you two equal feet. Shape the ball in your hands to create a dented oval shape with a bulb on either end. This should be a small bulb for the heel and a bigger bulb for the ball of the foot. Cut out some pointed toes to create a clawed foot. Using a bit of vegetable fat on your fingertips, roll the toes or claws to smooth out the cutting seams. Use a small ball tool to press holes in the tips of each toe. If you don't have a ball tool, a clean pin head should work just as well. Curve the toes slightly by pressing the veining tool against the foot. Flatten the back of the feet so they will sit under the body. I will be using about 75 grams of sugar paste for this figurine. Roll it in your hands until there are no cracks visible. Roll a dent in the paste to form a head and body separation. Press a ball tool into the paste to create eye sockets. This monster is going to have eyes in the back of her head, as all moms do. Do a quick check that the body fits the feet. Using the smoothing and veining tools, indent an open mouth. Coat the sugar paste in vegetable fat because we will be working on this piece for a long time. Start snipping points from the top of your figurine. Snip into the paste, pressing down the cutting seams as you go. Lift and curve the points slightly to give the figurine more life and movement. A smoother or a ball tool can be used to smooth out cutting seams. Keep snipping points, trying to keep them relatively symmetrical. Smooth out cutting seams and manipulate points as you go because the paste dries quite quickly once it's snipped. Every now and then repress your sockets and indents to avoid malformation. As you work your way towards the bottom, it helps to add a support dowel for while you are working. I'm using a chopstick.
The snipping technique that we are using on this figurine also works well to form pine trees or Christmas trees. When working with the bottom edge, take care to work neatly and cut as far to the edge as possible. Press the eye sockets again in case of disfigurement while working. Rest the body on the feet to get the correct fitting. Roll white paste for eyeballs and attach with edible glue. Add coloured irises for that extra bit of detail. Press a dent in the eyeball to hold the iris. Use tiny pieces of white sugar paste to form the claws. Glue the claws into the holes. Attach the body to the feet with small pieces of dried pasta for extra support. Using an edible ink pen, fill in the inside of the mouth. Roll a small oval shape with light pink sugar paste to create the tongue. Make a small indent with the tip of your knife. Clean off any excess ink with a damp paintbrush. Roll a thin line of white paste for the teeth. Attach it to the mouth with edible glue using the veining tool. Now you need to use a scribing needle to form the tiny teeth. As you drag the needle up, you will push paste up to the lip. Be sure to tuck this back down as you go. Use an edible ink pen to draw in the pupils. Roll some tiny white dots of sugar paste to make a reflection for the eyes. Press holes in the sides of your figurine to insert your arms. For the arms of our monster, I will be using florist tape. I use florist tape arms and hair when making Olaf. While florist tape is obviously inedible, it is suitable for use in sugar craft as long as it doesn't come in contact with edible items. Stretch the tape gently to activate the glue. The tape can easily be broken as you work with it, so there is no need to cut it. Make sure you have cleared all edibles away from your work surface as florist tape can get a bit messy. Activate the glue and twist the tape tightly into pieces about 5 cm long. I'm giving this monster four arms because we all know that moms actually have more than one set of hands. Each hand will have five fingers, so we need five strips per arm. Wrap the bundle tightly in a new piece of florist tape. Twist the tape tightly around the five strips, stretching the following tape in your left hand as you go. Position the fingers into a natural hand formation. Now repeat this process for all of the arms. Trim off the excess length before attaching the arms to the body. 
Using a tiny piping bag of melted chocolate, coat the ends of the tape items to attach to the figurine. I coat the ends in chocolate to minimize contact with the sugar paste. The tape pieces can be bent as needed. When using florist tape for orders, please always specify that non-edibles are in use and put it in writing on the invoice too. So there's our completed little monster. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Please hit the like button to let me know and come back in a month's time for the next tutorial. But how many arms is this guy going to have? <laughs> <laughs>